Hey guys, what's up? So I have an amazing video for you guys. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to use your S Plus One controller or your PlayStation controller on your phone, and you can basically play games using your controller on your phone. So it's really cool. And if you guys have your controller just laying around, then I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So before I actually begin, this tweak, it's you do the jailbreak. It just works with iOS 12, and it's a tweak you guys need to install. But the tweak does cost 10 bucks. You could get the tweak for free, but I do not suggest you guys do this. I really suggest you guys pay the developers $10, and it's amazing. I mean, you can basically use your controller to play games on your phone. How amazing is that? And the second thing I want to mention is that if you guys buy it, depending on the Xbox controller you have, it might not work. So, for example, if you have an old controller, like an old Xbox One controller, this is not going to work. This one right here. I heard that there's a slim right here. It's going to work. You see, it's like a little, I guess it's a little like fat right here. I don't really know. So, this one does not work. This white one right here. This works. So I guess it's like more slimmer right here compared to this one right here. It's more like wider, I guess. I don't really know, but I know the newer ones work. It's not every single Xbox One controller is gonna work. And I tried to do my PlayStation on uh, my PlayStation 4 controller. My PlayStation for my PlayStation 4 controller, which is quite new. I got it last Christmas. So I probably got it like a couple months ago, but that wasn't really working either. I wasn't really sure how to use that. But I'm gonna show you guys for the Xbox controller. I know it's working on a PlayStation controller, so you might work on the worst. You do buy it, you might just get a new controller. And I mean, Xbox One PlayStation controllers could run you up to about like 30, 40 bucks, or even 50 bucks. So just make sure you keep that in mind. But you get a decent one for like 20 bucks. Just make sure it's new. All right, so starting with the tutorial, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So you wanna add two sources. So the, the source you're gonna add is actually the source that basically you get it for free. And the other source is the original source from the developer, which I highly suggest you guys get, which is right here. This is a new tweak too. It just came out within a couple days ago. I was making this video. So I have this source on the screen right here. I'm having the screen for you guys right now. And other source guys get it for free is right there, reaper.hackeriphone.org. I have this source on the screen too. And also, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to basically get, like, play Mario and, like, those NDS games, GBA games. So, you also you can install GBA Fire OS. You can install Profinance, which Profinance Sports Controller, they all do. And you can install INDS. So, INDS, you have to get cheat code and stuff like that. Profinance, you really can't. Profinance is actually both GBA and DS. And then GBA is just for Game Boy games. But also, you can actually import the modded codes and hacked codes in yourself. So, basically, install those. You guys will need to add this source right here. Beta.unlimited apps. Just go to the source yourself and go to all pack Profinance. So as you can go to the P section, you see Profinance, you want to install Profinance. And if you want INDS and GBA Friday West, you need to install this on this source right here. I have it on the screen right now for you. Once you install this uh, source, you want to tap into it. You type in all packages and we go to INDS. So here is INDS right here. Just want to let you know guys, if you install these tweets from Cydia, they cannot get revoked. And now we go to GBA for iOS, the G section, and GBA for iOS is right there. So, so if you do not want to get these from a jailbreak, you just go to TweetBot or Ignition and install these from there. They have GBA, they have Profidence, and they have INDS. So now we're going to search up the tool we use to connect our controllers with the phone. It's called N Controller. So you see right, that's it right there. Tap onto it, and it does cost $10. I did buy it. So if you want to buy it, you have to go to Cilio. And then open up Cilio and then install it from there. You basically need PayPal. So you want to link your PayPal account. And you, or if you don't have one, you want to make a PayPal account. And add your credit or debit card to it. And that's how you take the money from it. It's $10. It's definitely worth it in my opinion though. But if you want it for free, um, it's in the repo to hack your iPhone. Only get this if you're going to pay the developer. I swear. I would not be showing you this. I mean, I'm just saying. If you're on the uncover and you don't have Cilio, then this is the only way you can get it. But I mean, like, you really should just pay the developer. I did. It's only 10 bucks and it's definitely worth it. All right. And just if you want to install, I don't know how to install ROMs basically to Profinance, GBA, Fire OS, or INDS. You basically want to go to this website to link for all the links will be down in the description. All right. So this is the website. It's called ROMs Mania. So basically, you just search up what emulator you want. So let's say I want Pokemon Red. Press search or tap on search. And this comes up to tap on Pokemon Fire Red version. And you hear it is right there. So you just want to tap on it. Go down. Tap on download and it's going to install us depending on how big the size of your um, email you're installing it might take longer or shorter this one i don't think it's that big so you also see on the top with the blue bar that means that it is downloaded so here we go it's installed so now you guys tap on open it was not gonna say it for you except it's because i have a tweak but for you it's just going to install and then this screen will pop up all right so once it installs you get the screen here it's zip so all you want to do is tap in open in GBA for iOS. Since this is a GBA games, it's either GBA for iOS or Profinance. You open in Profinance or GBA, it doesn't come up right there for you. You just want to tap on more Profinance, but you tap on more and then go to the app you want. You have, it says INDS, but since it's GBA, it will not let you actually open it in an INDS because that's only for DS games. We do have GBA for iOS, Profinance. So I'm just gonna tap on Profinance or GBA for iOS for depending on what game it is, INDS and GBA games, go to Profinance and GBA for iOS. And depending on the website you download, you might need to zip the file first. 
So we're gonna try GBA FireOS now. File already exists. So yeah, we already actually put the file in there. If it does need a zip, then all you wanna do is just go to the App Store and go to Zip App. I'll have a link for that down in the description. All right, so Zip App. I do have the Pro. It does cost like a dollar or two, but you just need a free one, and you want to zip or unzip the file, and then you could import it to GBA FireOS or Profins. That's if it's just not going through automatically. And just know that this does not work on every single game. So there's some games that this controls might not work for. So just make sure you guys keep that in mind. So now we're actually going to go connect it. So now once we have everything we want, or even just play Minecraft, this still works. Or even just Subway Surfers or Cross Hero, this still works. So all we want to do is actually open up and control, connect the controller. So I'm just going to show you, for example, this one does not work. So you hold it on. It could be or cannot be connected to an S-Box. All you want to do is tap on the button, hold this button right here to connect it. And when you tap on that, it should come up right away to, on your phone. But if it's not coming up, that means that it's not compatible. You update your controller through Windows or your Xbox controller you update through your Xbox One console. But I don't know. I think you just need a newer um, controller. All right, so that one's not working. So we're going to get this one right here, which is a new one. So you can see I'm going to hold it on. And then I'm going to press the connect button right here. Hold down to it. And it should pop up on the screen. There it is right there. I'm going to tap on it. And then you can tap on up here in the top right. And then you tap on connect device. And then now it should be connected. So now it should stop blinking just like that. So now to test make sure we're connected. And if you want to connect it to a different controller, you just tap on the device, tap on up here, and then you can tap on unpair device. So that's the thing you know you're connected. So now we guess you go into the game and test it out. So I'm gonna go into GB, GBA Fire OS and test out ROM. Fire OS, I'm just gonna go to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, load in. And you know it's working because I can't see, you usually have like your controls right here, but I can't even see that. So watch this, ready? I'm not gonna touch the device, I'm just gonna press A. And it's working, it's completely real, completely legit, and it's completely working. So I could just put it down like this, put it somewhere, and then I could just, you know, play on my controller. We can start to play the game. So I'm going up, down, 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 down. So move it like that. And then some of the configures, even for Profidence, there are settings you guys can configure to configure controller with. Even for like Minecraft, there's some like weird ones where you have to like, you have to like configure your controller to make sure the game works properly. But you can see right now it's working. So pretty cool guys. So just to show you with Profidence, open Profidence, I'm gonna go to settings. And then this is all the, the uh, options or settings you can configure. Like I said, I'll have all the links down in the description, guys. So just I'm just going to show you really quickly your tweak bots. You go to apps. You go to tweak bots apps. And then we can search up GBA for iOS. And so I'm tapping GBA. There it is right there. You just tap on it. Tap on install. And tap on install again. And once it's installed, you go to settings, general, performance, rights, management, trust, and trust again. Type in the other ones. And to unpair it, we're going to go to here. Go to the controller. Tap on it. Tap on top right. And then tap on unpair device and you watch the button to make sure you unpair it and there you go so now it's beeping again because it's unpaired so guys thanks for watching and peace